what is up youtube we're back on a youtube video and we're here with the failed bombing tier 4 black mouse mission but before this video starts i do want to apologize if you're hearing some like water tapping in the background whatever there's it's raining and it's hitting my ac so if you hear like some noise in the background i do apologize for that but let's just get straight into this guide so tier 4 black mouse mission failed bombing you can see on screen here's a little dialogue prompt for the quest slash uh, challenge i should say and it says, a few weeks ago, some civilians tried bombing the statue in the central Akhtar courtyard. It didn't go so well, but the explosive is still there. Just never went off. We like to inspect their handiwork, so to say. Get that explosive back and rearm it at the waterways in Ishika Island. We left a small kit for you. Bring it, it back to Alshurim Pass, and we'll notify some friends when you're done. So you can see for your task, you're going to have to loot and extract the defuse charge from the Akhtar statue. Then you're going to have to go to the Ishika waterways, dead drop and deposit your defuse charge there and you're gonna have to bring a battery and a electrical component to rearm the charge and then once you rearm the charge you'll put that in your inventory and then you'll get the rearmed bomb and then bring that to the dead drop located in Alstrom Pass so one this is gonna be annoying because you're going from Almazra to Ashika Island so not only do you have to exfil successfully with the defuse charge but once you exfil with that, you're going to have to go all the way to Sheikah Island. Then you're going to have to go find some stuff, the electrical components, as well as the bomb. Then you're going to have to hope that you uh, you don't die in a Sheikah Island, which is going to be very difficult because it's a lot of players there just do PvP. A lot of people don't care if you're doing missions or not. Even if you try to team up, they're going to try to shoot you anyway. So if you can, try to get a squad for that. But once you go to Sheikah Island... Then you're going to have to go do all that stuff and then exfil with the rearm charge and then deposit in Almazra. So with all of that confusing stuff out the way, let's start breaking it down. So like I said, we're going to load into Almazra. When you load into Almazra, here's where you have to go. Here's the location on the screen right here. Feel free to pause it right now to get a good view and everything. But here is the location of the Central Akhtar Courtyard but it's pretty much showdown if you play multiplayer and you play the new map that they added this season it's pretty much that poi so if you know that for multiplayer or just cod 4 pretty much then you know it's pretty easy to identify but here's the location so pause it write it down whatever whatever you got to do just know where you're where you're going but you spawn into Almanzra, go straight over there. So this is me jumping into post-production. You can see uh, I'm about to pick it up. And you can see I said there was going to be armored enemies here. But uh, expect there to be armored enemies. You can see right here I pick up the disarmed charge. But every time I have came here, there was armored enemies. This one time I came here and there was no enemies. And this is when I was recording. I forgot to record my other time when I died with the bomb. And I had to go, I had to go get it again. So I do apologize. But you can see that's the location you got to go to. Uh, hopefully you know you're not too confused by that but just if you get there and there's enemies kill all the enemies and then pick up the bomb and you should be fine so now that you've obtained that charge make sure you exfil with that and bring that over to shika island by the way this is what it's going to look like when it's in your inventory you're going to see this little blue uh, background with a bomb icon in your inventory so that's how you know you still have it try not to die with it because if you die you're going to end up losing it obviously and you're going to have to restart so again, just make sure you exfil and then load into Shika Island. So you can see we're in a Shika Island. Now what I recommend doing is just looting like you're seeing in the background. This is pretty much all I was doing. You can see I found my electrical components right there, but you're also gonna need to find a battery. So very quickly, here's on the screen what a battery looks like. So feel free to pause in case you don't know what it looks like. And now here's what electrical components look like. So again, feel free to pause just so you can get a good look at it. But now, once you have found both of them, wherever you find them, I will show you a picture here. I have found one spot where I found both electrical components and a battery inside of a toolbox. But that was just one time. And I feel like this is just so random. Like, do not depend on this. I will say that right now. Um, you can feel free to check this spot. Here's the little, you know, image, like I said, and where you can find it. But again it's probably like a one in a thousand chance of you finding both uh, items inside but once you find those items however you do by just looting and scavenging make your way down to the waterways and there's a number of different ways you can go uh, however you go just know that it's underneath the castle and obviously there's the tunnels there's the zip lines there's a bunch of different ways to get there but 
it is a bit confusing but just look for a submarine once you see the submarine you know you're near the dead drop here in the gameplay you can see i'm just doing a lot of running at 1.2 i was confused i was like man i've been in the waterway so much but um eventually i do end up getting it you're gonna see there is gonna be some enemies here there's a juggernaut usually by the submarine so just know that and that way you're kind of expecting it you can see right here is where we're gonna uh, run into the enemies you can see some ai here you're gonna see right off the bat we're just gonna start throwing some nades there's a juggernaut back there we're gonna try to deal with the ai and again i'm just leaving this here just just to show you there is ai i know earlier i mentioned that there's ai in the Almazra portion but when i spawned in they just happened not to be there that one time here you can see there's a juggernaut that you got to deal with i was using some floor loot that i picked up from a squad that was trying to kill us and it really wasn't that good but uh you know just make your way through here and kill all the ai obviously so you know you don't end up dying and again feel free to look at the mini map here to see my exact location the dumpster is pretty much right here so if you spawn in you can see the dumpster right there to the left just spawn in mark that you can see my teammate over here going crazy 316 with a dragon's breath shotgun on the ai you can see battery and electrical components is what i have in my inventory as well as the disarm charge open the dead drop and then put your components inside and you can see once you put them you get the rearm charge make sure you put that in your inventory and now you can go straight for the exfil again this is, this is me trying to show where you can find it on the map uh, i didn't zoom in for whatever reason but again, just know it's underneath the castle. And here, what you're gonna wanna do is go exfil with it in your inventory, like I said, and then you'll make your way to Almazra. So you can see we're approaching the area here in Almazra. Obviously, spawn in with your charge and everything that you got from Sheikah Island. And here's the dead drop. Here's me showing the mini map where we're gonna find the Al Sharim Pass dead drop location. But just go up to it here. You can see the rearm charge. I'm just gonna put that. And there you go. You can see the rank up is complete. We got the XP failed bombing mission complete. You can see my teammate Dan Bird, we're doing a little celebration there. But I'm happy that's over. So if you found this useful, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you know any other tips and or tricks that you want to pass on to anybody, feel free to do that as well in the comments. This one is super annoying just because it requires you to go to Sheikah Island and Almazra and, you know, go back and forth. And to be honest, the Almazra part is not hard at all. It's Ashika Island, which just has, I don't know, I find the players in Ashika Island, in my experience, they're just only PvP orientated. They don't do missions. They, you know, they don't call out friendly. They just go straight up for PvP all the time. And I'm not saying that, you know, they have to do PvE only, but, you know, I'm not going to lie. As a solo player, like, it made me have to go tell somebody, like, hey, you know, I, I need some backup when I'm doing this challenge. And again, shout out to Dan Verber because he didn't have this mission. He didn't have this challenge. He just straight up joined me. was like, screw it. I'm down. If, you know, you need help, if PvP players show up, we're going to definitely, uh, you know, put up a fight. So, again, shout out to him. And hopefully, if you can, try to get a team, whether it's LFG, whether it's, you know, friends that you have that might not play the game a lot, but you just need somebody to, you know, run with you just to, you know, watch your back more or less, then, again, you can totally do that. But that's going to do it for the video. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to ring the bell so you don't miss another YouTube video. Drop a follow on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash monkeysjam0. We'll be making more video guides. We're only in tier 4 for Black Mouse, so I plan on making a lot more DMZ guides. So stick to the channel if that's your type of thing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.